You know that sawdust you get when you cut your boards? Well, it's not just wood dust. It's almost like a fingerprint of your work. And depending on the wood species, it can be super useful or downright toxic. Welcome to this new episode. I wanted to take a short break from the board making series to come back to a small detail I only skimmed over last time. Sawdust. Because in reality, it's not as harmless as it looks. Sawdust is simply fine particles produced when cutting, sanding or planing wood. But before you reuse it, you need to know which type of wood it comes from. Some types are perfect for gardening, while others can be toxic or allergic. So, here's the gist. Hardwoods, like oak, beech, or birch, are great for mulch or compost, but only in small amounts because of the tannins. Softwoods, pine fir, douglas fir, are ideal for bedding, fire starters, or absorbents. They smell good, burn well, and soak up everything. Exotic woods, teak, mahogany, iroko, best to avoid. They often contain irritating compounds. Treated woods, MDF, varnished, painted, or glued. Simple rule, banned everywhere. No composting, no heating, no mulching. In the garden you can use sawdust as mulch but always mix it with shredded wood or compost to avoid nitrogen depletion and if you add it to your compost pile go easy a little at a time or it'll suffocate the worms. It's also perfect for absorbing oil in the workshop or even for cleaning up vomit. Yes that's oddly specific and it can also be used to make a natural wood filler. Fine sawdust plus glue equals homemade repair paste. Quick reminder store it in a dry place sift it before using and above all know where it comes from. Wet sawdust can ferment and heat up on its own. Yes, literally. So sawdust isn't waste, it's a resource. As long as you know what you're doing and where it comes from. And you, how do you use your sawdust? Tell me in the comments, I'd love to hear your ideas.